Youtube Youtube <laughs> Well, we're here in the town hall in Lewis, yeah. and I haven't been here for a year and a half. Last time I was here was the unleashing of Transition Town Lewis, and here we are a year and a half later in their launch towns. So this is really feels like like the unleashing. It feels like a really historic occasion. It feels like something people are going to sing songs about and write stories about in, in ten years' time. The, uh, the launch of the Lewis Pan, the beautiful, beautiful notes, and it's a real uh, it's a real mark of how of how the people doing Transition Town Lewis have really done some quite extraordinary work since their unleashing. You know. But the, the, now they've arrived at this stage and they've got the amount of popular interest and buy-in and, uh, and enthusiasm that allows them to do that. So I feel exhilarated and really touched to be here this evening. It's been lovely. I've spent the afternoon stuffing Lewis Pounds into envelopes ready for people to give out. And uh, it feels like it's a very precious uh, event this evening. Why, why is having a, a pound uh, local currency so important? Because we are the most unresilient society that has ever existed, probably, and we're entering time, we've, we've all grown up living in a time when actually one's prowess, one's economic success, one's sense of well-being is, is intrinsically linked to one's degree of oil consumption. And we're moving very rapidly into a time when actually one's degree of dependency on oil equates directly to one's degree of oil vulnerability, one's degree of vulnerability. And we find ourselves incredibly unresilient. We've dismantled our local shops, our local infrastructure, our local economies ruthlessly over the last 30, 40 years. So what, an, what something like the Lewis Pound does is it, it provides a very powerful tool for people to support and start the process of improving their local economy. When you go shopping with Lewis Pounds, you make a conscious decision to support local businesses and to support the local economy. Your money still does the same, you still come home with the same amount of shopping, but what you leave behind you isn't just a load of money that's pouring out of the, of the economy, it's money that's staying behind and making more things happen. So, so uh, it's, it's something which I think at the moment we're looking at Pounds and Lewis and the places that have done this, but really I think in five or ten years these are going to be a common part of, of many people's lives. I think anything that actually helps the local economy and it helps encourage people to use our unique and special shops in Lewis should be supported and encouraged. And that's really why I'm here, representing the town and also, of course, the council. Is there a, um, a challenge in Lewis with, uh, with local uh, businesses? or uh, Is there enough local business or are there too many supermarkets and, uh, and chain stores? Well, that's a very diverse question. I think the important thing to bear in mind is that we all recognise that we're going through difficult times and that in difficult times then clearly shops need to be used otherwise if we don't use them we, lo we lose them. And when people do think about climate change it's dark, it's negative, it's about deprivation and it, it, it brings out a kind of hostility in people, it's a real rage. If somebody tries to take something away from me it gets to deny me things um, and I don't even know if I believe it. But it really doesn't have to be that way. And finding ways for people to feel positive about the changes we're all going to make is going to be the way to win this whole battle about the, life, the lifestyle chances we all have to make to make it not feel grim. I think that there is a perfect example of this, of something that's positive, creative, enjoyable. I think personal carbon trading could be very like that too. It has some of the same features in it where people trade between themselves uh, carbon credits. Um, and some people are already beginning to think about that politically, though I think it's some way down the line. But all of these ideas have some of the same ingredients of tapping into things where people can decide themselves what to do and how to do it, but in a rather community way. And as the person who's led the work on the Berkshires in Western Massachusetts has said, the Lewis Pound, as well as being local money, will also be slow money to build social networks with everyday interactions between local consumers and producers that globalisation is threatening to undermine. That's what we're doing. How much media interest has there been in the, in the launch? A ridiculous amount. Um, you know, we expected there to be the local newspapers and that was pretty much it. And in fact what we had is um, national TV coverage, international TV coverage. We've got a Japanese crew here, we've got a German crew, a Russian crew, a CNN. Um, it's been phenomenal um, and, and it really, you know, well, well above our expectations.
somehow it caught everybody's imagination, and I think it's because uh, money and economy is it's the lifeblood of the community. And I think subconsciously we all realise that having our own currency is going to give us power to do things the way we want, rather than uh, having to do the way things the corporate agenda. Yeah. And helping to make tonight a success. The simple truth is that all of you are the living proof that this will be a success. Uh, some of you heard me earlier this, this morning at another meeting, and I then spoke with General Robert E. Lee, who said that history teaches us to be optimistic. And what we need to be tonight is optimistic for the Lewis Pan and also optimistic for our community. I certainly uh, praise the designers for the Lewis Pan. There's one tucked into my pocket, and when you look at it, you'll see certain features which in my mind encapsulate Lewis and bring out the best qualities of Lewis. The downs that surround us, and also a certain radical figure you will hear a lot more of next year. However, let's get down to the countdown, and we're going to do it the normal fashion. Five, four, three, two, one. You're all with me? Yeah. That's a miracle, isn't it? Then, miraculously, hopefully, this will come away. But you know, let's see, shall we? So let's get started, shall we? Five, four, three.